hey guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel it is me oodles oh no it's not wrong channel <laughs> it's me shawnee um and today we're gonna be doing something pretty different for me we're gonna be trying a tiktok art thing not necessarily a hack but it's a thing that people do on tiktok and we're gonna be painting bubbles so I have these little canvases that I got from Dollar Tree the other day. Got a three pack of four by six canvases and I got a whole bunch of paint the other day, which you'll probably see in a vlog either before this or after. I don't know when I'll be <laughs> uploading this yet, but we're going to try this bubble um, tutorial and well, it's not really a tutorial. It's just a cool thing. And I wanted to start adding more art content on this channel. So that's what we're going to do. So I got a bunch of these little canvases. They're very small. It's like literally the size of a postcard. And I got these from Dollar Tree. And it'll also be a way for me to test these out. So yeah, I'm going to stop running my mouth. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start running my mouth and show you guys what we're going to do. So first off, I'm going to be taking my canvas and black paint. I got the Glossy by uh, Barrel. I forgot what it's called. I'll put it in the description because this is like the only paint that I really use. And I'm just painting that canvas black. And no, I'm not painting directly on my desk. These are like the clear um, placemats from Dollar Tree. I like to use these with my clay and that is uh, resin that you see all over it. That's why it looks a little bit gross. But yeah, you're just gonna cover your canvas and make sure you have even layers of paint. And with the canvases, you like to paint on the edges too. So now we're gonna go in with the white paint, which is how we're gonna do the bubbles, obviously the outline. And the TikTok videos use different circular objects that you have around the house. So I'm gonna be using bottles. <laughs> um, one thing that I use for like the big circle is my got to be glued spray. I use like paint lids and like shampoo lids and conditioner, all the, all the things. And you guys are gonna see in a second that I'm gonna just take the bottom of those items, like which is circular, and I'm just gonna paint it with the paint. See, <laughs> that's my got to be glued bottle. So I'm just painting around the bottom edge of that so I can just dip it onto the canvas. But honestly, if you trust yourself and you're good at drawing circles, then you can freehand it, but I'm not. So I just outlined that and pressed it down. And you don't want it to go completely around because the illusion of the circle is that you don't see each side of it. Some sides have more of a highlight than others because of the reflection of light and stuff like that. So I painted it again and then I went back and I was trying to like press it down. And you can see it's not very even. I didn't place it evenly, but it's not gonna matter. And then next I took like this little conditioner bottle and I painted the bottom of that to make the more medium sized ones. And this is kind of actually kind of difficult because some of the things don't want to press correctly. And I wanted to space them out. I didn't really have a good idea of what the layout of the canvas was going to be, how I wanted to do it. I just kind of free balled it completely because I don't know what I'm doing. And then I took that lid and I painted that. And uh, yeah, so also to save time, you could always just put like a big old like blob of paint and then just stick the items in there like just dip it in there to do it but that's too much like right so i didn't decide to do that but yeah then i took this water bottle lid because it was a little bit smaller and painted the inside of that And so I was trying to space them out a little bit more, but it didn't really happen. And then that one, <coughs> I didn't really press at all. So now I'm going in with the paint and I'm kind of filling in the areas to give them more of a highlighted look to kind of embrace the circle a bit more. And I did kind of mess up on some of these, but it's not very important because later on you're gonna see that I'm gonna take that black paint to kind of clean up everything. So don't fret if you end up doing that like I did because it's not a big deal. And then I'm going in with this blue paint and kind of adding it to the bottom of that circle. And I'm also gonna start mixing the paints. You can't really see all the other colors that I have, 
on that palette because it's cut off but yeah and I was really trying to think about how to space these but it, it's very much just a kind of go go with the flow type of thing like I could have looked at actual references of bubbles which I kind of did but I didn't really use the colors that I saw I kind of wanted to make it more of a cool tone anybody that knows me knows I love really cool tone colors like I always have I love a nice blue a nice purple a nice like you know bluish green I'm not really one for warm tones that much and a lot of my artwork uses the cooler tones so that was what I was going for with these bubbles at one point I did want to put a little bit of yellow and red and like pink but it didn't really turn out like that but you guys are gonna see <laughs> how many changes that I took with this because one thing about acrylic paint is you put that paint down and you don't have much time to blend it out especially if you're using like normal like coats of paint and layers you're not gonna have much time with acrylic paint and I love acrylic paint honestly truly if y'all didn't know that now you do but you really have to kind of blend fast if you want to or you have to add like water or something and even then it's not always a hundred percent that you're going to be able to mix those colors so usually you're going to have to paint over it or layer and so here I took like the color shift purple paint that I got and you can kind of see the color shift effect but it's not really good I feel like you need to have something super glossy um and black or white to put that down but yeah so then I was trying to make more of a orangey and then I was like nah let's go back to the greenish because it just didn't fit so then I'm going in with some pink paint and a little bit of water on my brush to kind of try to blend those colors out and I know right now it doesn't look anything like bubbles <laughs> like it just looks like messy circles but I promise you I'm gonna go in and clean those up like it just looks a mess <laughs> and also while I was doing this I was watching the gameplay of the game like 12 minutes and it was freaking crazy like I want to play that game myself because um the like walkthrough that I looked at it was just like a preview it wasn't like the whole game but it seems really interesting and I'm probably gonna play that on stream at some point so shameless plug to my twitch channel if you're not already following but yeah so now I'm going in with the white paint and like a thinner brush to kind of outline the circles a bit more. Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to clean that up with black paint. You guys will see later because it just did not turn out right. But it did kind of help to make these more circular because a lot of the paint kind of got everywhere. And one thing I will say about these canvases is I feel like you would need like if you really want to do a good smooth painting, you would probably need some gesso or something on it but I don't have gesso cause I don't really paint on canvases and I haven't painted on canvas in so long. But for a Dollar Tree canvas, they're really, you know, decent. They're not bad. And I got like a bunch more and yeah. So that's why you see a lot of the texture, which I don't really mind texture, but it was kind of annoying at times. So now I'm kind of going in with a little bit of water on that brush to kind of thin out that paint to give it more of like the reflection and stuff. But it didn't do everything that I wanted it to do because that's just the nature of acrylic paint. It's not gonna always work the way that you want it to. So now it's time for the highlights. So I'm using another small brush and adding that white in. And I mean, the highlights are really what makes the bubbles because the highlight is what gives it the dimension, and the definition. And <laughs> I feel like my white, like my white against the canvas, like the brush, like it just was not staying white. Like there was a lot of the texture kind of coming through. And this is a white paint that I got from Dollar Tree, actually, which I had never tried this before, which I could have sworn I had a gigantic bottle of white acrylic paint from like Apple Barrel, just like my black, but somehow it disappeared. I don't know. I could have sworn I used, you know what? I need to go find that. I could have sworn I used that when I made my cow earrings in one of my vlogs, but we're gonna have to go check that because I could have sworn. I hope no one stole my paint. But yeah, <laughs> just going in and adding the little highlights and little dots of light on the little tiny little, what are these called, bubbles? <laughs> and yeah, and I didn't realize I had these brushes still. I bought these like thin brushes like last year for polymer clay stuff. And I had lost them because they were in my, um, my container with my other brushes. I need to get more paint brushes because I don't, I don't know, like I haven't really painted 
in years. Like, I think I haven't really painted since college. And I actually don't mind paint. But I do want to work on it. And I want to get better at painting. But, you know, digital is kind of in my thing. Because you can paint without having to buy paint. But I need to start utilizing all the things that I spend my money on. But anyway, that's the story for another day. <laughs> but I was just going in and filling in those highlights again to give them more white so they stand out a little bit more. And now I'm going in with black to fill in those spaces. So if you feel like your circles, your bubbles got a little lopsided, just take the black paint and go around them again to kind of give them the illusion of looking neat. And that's what I was doing because I really messed up and there was so much white and this really helps. I feel like it really kind of saved the painting of it because these lopsided things do not look like bubbles, but that black paint, the illusion, it's great. It's very great. It's really helpful. So remember that if you don't draw things evenly or if you mess things up, you can always layer the paint to make them better. That's why acrylic paint is that girl. <laughs> now, sometimes it will take a little time for it to dry before you do that, but this paint was already drying pretty fast, so I didn't need to put too much of a focus on it, and I did kind of mess up this circle a little bit. I, I'm mad I keep referring to them as circles when they're supposed to be bubbles, but you know what I mean. You know what, I, what I'm saying. And yeah, so this one was kind of messy, but that color shift paint did kind of help with the shadowing in this, so I definitely will be utilizing that more in some of the paintings. But yeah, and then I'm gonna go in and coat these again because you see, I was kind of taking away some of the stuff I had already done. That's just the nature of the beast with acrylic paint. Like, it's so easy to cover up something you've done, but then you know what? You just have to layer it again and put it back. So yeah. And now I'm taking more white to go over those highlighted spaces again, just as kind of a finisher because we're close to the end. And you really just wanna make those very opaque so that they stand out and give the illusion of being highlights more because highlights don't fade. They're bright, they're highlights for a reason because they need to look, you know, highlighted. Does that make any sense? I don't know, <laughs> but let's just hope it does, I suppose. And then I'm just gonna add some little star burst with this little tiny brush, which they didn't really stay. Like this brush was very thin, but it just didn't do, but whatever. <laughs> I feel like that kind of brought it more, like giving it just that little shine. Then I took a little bit of silver paint, which I kind of messed it up, but then I'm gonna take some water and blend that out to kind of give it the illusion of um, highlights and stuff more. And so, yeah, so now I'm going in. I put this white holographic paint on it, which was a mistake because I forgot that this paint was white with holographic specs in it. So it looks very stupid right here. And I really wish I didn't do that. So then I tried to wipe it off, <laughs> but it didn't work. So then I'm going in with Mod Podge to seal it. This is glossy Mod Podge. And you know, you just go back and forth with that to seal it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I tell you, it looks way better afterwards. So this is what it looks like. It got really messed up because of that white holographic um, paint that I put on there. And then I put the Mod Podge over it. I honestly feel like I could have done a better job if I redid this. I'll probably redo this on a bigger canvas and use different brushes because it's not giving what it could have given, what it's supposed to have gave, <laughs> to be completely honest. And I really just splotched up everything, putting that white holographic paint on there. But this is the bubble art from TikTok. So yeah, if you guys have any TikTok hacks that you want me to try or any TikTok art things that you want me to try, definitely link them down below and I'll check them out. I have a couple more that I'm going to do soon. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and hope you have a great day. Bye.